Hi, I'm Jeffrey. And I'm Rohan. We are both second year bioengineering students here at Luke Lee's lab um, with Charlie Yeh as our uh, graduate mentor um, at the University of California, Berkeley. And we'd like to share with you um, some of the research that we've been working on to show you what bioengineers can do. So over a billion people around the world lack access to proper healthcare, and millions of people um, in many developing countries uh, are dying from infectious diseases that can go undiagnosed. While we do have the medical technology today that allows us to diagnose many of these diseases, um, these technologies are costly and they require sophisticated equipment and specialized technicians to operate them or scientists to process them, all of which many of these resources that many developing countries do not have. Ordinarily, molecular diagnostics require that a uh, crude sample be centrifuged off-site in order to separate the DNA molecules from the crude blood sample. Separation of DNA molecules is key in order to detect the infectious pathogens. Uh, afterwards, the sample is then amplified using bulky and costly uh, equipment that often requires thermal sampling, thermal uh, cycling. While this procedure is standard in developed countries, it is infeasible in developing countries, areas where true point of care diagnostics are, are needed. Our project aims to create a novel device that can do molecular diagnostics uh, that are simple, cost-effective, and comprehensive in order to detect various pathogens, which is a small sample of blood. The device is made from a lightweight and cheap material that can be manufactured within uh, just a few days. The device takes advantage of microfluidic principles in order to separate the DNA molecules from the crude blood sample without the need of external pumping. Uh, compartments in the device have chemical reagents that amplify the DNA molecules to detectable levels so that they can be imaged using fluorescence in order to determine if the patient has the infection. By miniaturizing the diagnostic process, uh, we are able to replace entire laboratory structures with uh, a simple diagnostic device. This is the premise of lab on a chip technology. A key advantage to our device is that it combines multiple diagnostic processing steps into one. Um, furthermore, unlike other existing medical technologies today, our device is able to give out a clinical diagnosis at the point of care using a raw sample of blood. Unlike uh, other technologies, it also does not require external power or extensive training uh, by the operator at the point of care. With our novel design, we hope that lab on a chip technology and diagnostic devices can be implemented in areas around the world that need it the most, especially in developing countries. As you can see, our device not only provides a cheap and convenient alternative to existing molecular diagnostics, it's also a prompting step to deliver molecular diagnostics to the developing world. 